Hi, I'm Brian and welcome to a very exciting Coco tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create an NS view that has a background color. This seems to be rather easy if you're familiar with iOS programming. However, it could be somehow very difficult if you don't know where to start. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Just a standard Cocoa application. And let's name it View Background Next Create. And all we have to do for now is just create a view controller so that we can handle everything a bit similar to iOS, so just drag the view controller to the objects here on the left side. And let's open the view in the main menu zip. And then hold your control key down and just drag the view controller to the view. And let's use the view as a outlet. And the next step we are going to create an Objective C class. Be aware that you have to select this Objective C class here and not under iOS. So now let's um, just create an NS View Controller. Let's call it Main View Controller and View Controller here as well. We do not need a zip for the user interface, so hit Next and Create. So now that we have our main view controller that we can use later to um, to do our programming. Let's just um, connect this view controller here to the newly created class. So let's go up here to custom class and call it main view controller. Very well, now we have everything in place to create our new NS view that should be colored. And just to demonstrate why it is, not, it is not that easy to create a NS view that has a background color, let's just go in our main view controller and um, add this awake from nip method here. And let's create a NS view, a view, NS view alloc. Let's give it a frame. And let's make rect. Let's just put it in the lower left corner and width and height 100 pixels. So, <clears throat> basically, if you come from iOS and you're f familiar with UI view, you would expect that you could just take this view, a view, and call background color, but there is no such thing. And you could probably. Uh, think that then let's use layers and background color but that's not the easiest way as well so what you have to do is subclass the NS view and give it a specific color so let's do that and um, say file new file objective C class and let's say we want a red view a subclass of NS view and create. So now we have the header file and the implementation file and all we have to do now to give our view a red background is replace this comment here in the draw rec method of the view and first of all we need to get a CG context ref call that it's not a pointer by the way it's con let's call it context and what we need now is the current context so ns graphics context current context and now we need the graphics part and 
we get a little warning here because we have to cast this to a CG context ref. And with this context reference, we can now um, set an RG, uh, RGB fill color. So let's say CG context set RGB fill color. And now you, you can see why we need this context because we have to place it in this method. So let's just put that in right here. And now we can give um, this a specific color with red, green, and blue value. Um, one stands for 255 um, in the RGB scale. So let's um, say zero for green and zero for blue and alpha well value of 100%. And that's it. Now we just have to say CG context fill rect. And this is our context. And the rect is NS rect 2. CG rect. And this is actually the dirty rect that is a parameter in this draw rect method. So that is all we have to do in our subclass of NSView. And now we go back to our main view controller and import this new subclass, red view. And I will, I will replace this um, NSView that we have created earlier with red view. And all we have to do now is to add it to our view at subview, a view, and that's it. Just hit run, and there is our red color NS view. So you can see that it is basically really easy to create um, a colored NS view. However, it is somehow different from um, doing it in um, in the iOS world using UI view. But you will see in the future that there are some reasons in OS X programming where subclassing of um, NS classes can be quite useful.